If you're clear about your goals, but not your values, if you're clear about your goals, but not how far you're willing to go for something, if you're clear about your goals, but you don't have bumpers in place, then your goals will take you to a place that you never meant to be. I need to make sure if you're connected to me that you don't end up overexposed and underdeveloped. Family, y'all know what it is. It's another episode of Everyday Character. It's the Wednesday edition. I just want to share with you what's on my mind. A brain dump with you. So many people are entrepreneurs. So many people have a passion um, that God has given them a calling. And I want you to wrestle with this idea. Are you underdeveloped and overexposed? Are you underdeveloped and overexposed? Um, I remember maybe 10 years ago, I was in college. Um, I had a pair of Crocs. I'm not new to the Croc game. I'm true to the Croc game, man. I took my Crocs off. I put my tennis shoes that I was wearing to school on, left the Crocs in the car. At the end of the day, I came back to the car and my shoes, those Crocs, they completely melted. Okay, what are you saying, Pastor Lance? Um, those Crocs were not made to handle where they were. And I think there are a lot of us who are going somewhere. There are a lot of us who are destined to make it somewhere. But is this the season where you're supposed to be there? Is this the season where you're supposed to start the business, put up the money, start the LLC and the nonprofit? Or is this the business, or excuse me, the season rather for learning? I think there is a lost art of learning. And I don't want you to be underdeveloped and overexposed. Um, I spent a lot of time recently in Matthew, the third chapter, John the Baptist. He baptizes Jesus. Uh, John the Baptist, he's known as the forerunner or the one that went first. He went in front of Jesus and then Jesus came and went further than he did. He's literally a trailblazer for the chosen one. John the Baptist goes before Jesus. Before Jesus has disciples, John has them. Before Jesus goes before court, John goes before court. But what's really interesting about the life of Jesus, it's in uh, Luke, the second chapter and the 52nd verse. Jesus is like 12 years old. He's a little boy. He's still a child. And it says that Jesus grew in wisdom. Jesus grew in stature and Jesus grew in favor. So before we ever meet Jesus as a Messiah, he's growing. Before we ever meet Jesus as a prince of peace, He's growing. And I wonder how many of us are going in seasons and times where we should be growing. How many of us are trying to pursue that thing where we should be skill building, where we should be learning, where we should be receiving growth? Uh, one of the biggest growth blockers, please hear me. One of the biggest things that blocks our growth is goals. We set goals and we have dreams, we have ideas, we have these things that we want to accomplish, but quietly some of our goals may be limiting our growth. How can you say that? Well, th there are things that you're going to do. There are things that you're going to experience. There are things in your heart you want to experience, but are you ready? Please hear me. If you're clear about your goals, but not your values, if you're clear about your goals, but not how far you're willing to go for something, if you're clear about your goals, but you don't have bumpers in place, then your goals will take you to a place that you never meant to be. I need to make sure if you're connected to me that you don't end up overexposed and underdeveloped. I know that experience is a great teacher. But do you know what's even a greater teacher? Grandma. <laughs> I know that experience is a great teacher. But do you know what's even a greater teacher? Your pastor. I know that experience is a great teacher. But do you know what is even a greater teacher? Your mentor. Their experience will give you speed. Their 
experience will position you to go where you are going. Please hear me, y'all. You you may be called to be a realtor before you get into real estate. Is it possible you can you can spend six months in property management as a leasing consultant and learn the language and learn sales and learn what it takes to do what it is that you need to do so you're not underdeveloped and overexposed. Uh, the way that this shows up in scripture is not just with John the Baptist and Jesus, but there's a man named Elijah who finds a mentee named Elisha. Elisha, who's working on something in 1 Kings in the 19th chapter, he has his hands on something. He decides to follow his mentor, Elisha. You, you find it in 1 Kings, the 19th chapter. You don't hear from Elisha again until almost five chapters later in 2 Kings, the second chapter. And when his mentor tells him, I'm ready to go, it's your turn. Elisha is still trying to pursue him to suck out the last drop of wisdom and experience and guidance that his mentor will give him. Please hear me. God has called you to do something. God has purposed for you to do something. But is it possible that you are trying to get started and you're not getting prepared? You're trying to get going in a season where you should be growing. I want to make sure that you are not underdeveloped when you're overexposed. I know that a platform is in your future. I know that opportunities are are in your future, but seek God and say, Lord, on the way to where you're taking me, where could I learn on the way to where you're taking me? Here's an important one. Where can I serve on the way to where you're taking me? Listen, there's some rooms, there's some spaces. God had to deal with me on this this week where I'm saying, why, why can't I uh, be the person that's, that's teaching? Why, why can't I be the person that's making it happen? Why? And God had to reveal to me. He just showed me on this week. I'm developing you. Yeah, you could do it, but I'm developing you. So when your time comes, you don't just hit a home run. You hit a grand slam. Yeah, you could get up there. But why don't you just slow down and sit at somebody's feet for a minute? And as you allow God to develop you, when your moment comes, you'll be ready. When the opportunity comes, you won't fumble the moment but you'll go through and get everything that God has for you. Listen, I love you. I want this to be a great time, a great season for you. And let's make sure as God is preparing to open doors that we are not overexposed and underdeveloped. My name is Pastor Lance Pillen. I love you all so much, man. Have a good one. Remember this, God's character is his love. Let's work on experiencing everyday character. Have a good one.